This is a segment where we take a look at a board game based on an IP, and I tell you if the IP and the mechanisms work together. Today we're looking at Dr. Seuss's Merry Grinchmas. This is a cooperative game where the players will play together to deliver more gifts than the Grinch. On your turn, you will score and move the Grinch the number of spots that you scored. One, two, three, four, five, six. If he lands on A, B, or C, he will take one of these presents and take him to his mountain. If he lands on a present, he takes one random one from the bag. On the feet, nothing happens, but if he lands on somebody's house and they have a goodie, he will steal it from there. Then on your turn, you can choose A, B, or C, add it to one of your houses. If at any time you meet the requirements of one of these cards, you may fulfill it. The Grinch will always fulfill one if he can, the highest one that is possible. These are very simple to fulfill. Pink and purple, you just need a pink and purple gift. If you have that, you give it up and you can score these points. After the player score eight cards, they will compare how many they fulfilled versus the Grinch. Whoever scored the most is the winner. Everybody's playing against the Grinch. The IP works okay, and there are certain aspects of it that does. I don't understand why I'm competing with the Grinch to deliver. I don't remember that in any of the stories, but here we sit. It is thematic that the Grinch is going around taking the presents and trying to steal them. that half of the game works. So what he's doing, what we're doing, uh, not so much, but there has to be a game. So that's what we're doing here. So while the IP probably matches half of the mechanisms, it's actually a pretty decent little family game. There is a spinner in it. Don't let that scare you off. That's just a mechanism to move the Grinch around. I did like the set collection and some of the decisions I like to go for the bigger gifts or the smaller ones and how to score those out is really, really fun. My family really liked this. We had a good time with a lot of these games. And this one is like a legitimate board game, not just a small box card game. This one was a really good keeper for us.